Welcome to this physics wire particle secret. And there are a lot of secrets you need to know about physics particles. One of them is this. You are asked to find a given thing like determine the internal resistance. You have done your experiment. But you don't know how your graph will look like. And you don't know the slope you are going to get. In this lesson, I'm going to explain that. And this is for the electricity. And this is for simple pendulum. You can also have it for every other branch of physics. And the result is going to be the same. And I am sure you have never learned this. So please, before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and comment. Now, let's assume you are asked to find internal resistance. The next formula that should be coming to your mind is E equal to capital V plus small v. Where capital V is called the potential difference, and the small v is called the lost voltage. Capital V is given as, that is the Ohm's law, of course. And why small v is also this, which is also Ohm's law. Alright. Now, the question is, how will this graph look like? How will my slope, what will be my slope? The first thing you should know is, what am I going to plot on the, on the vertical? And what am I going to plot on my horizontal? When you answer this question, you now compare it with this equation. And I'm going to explain what this equation is. But before then, let us make V the subject formula because the one on the vertical must be, must be the subject formula. And that is going to be V equal to E minus current multiplied by R. Hmm. Now, you realize that this is the vertical and this small R is the what? Horizontal. Now, when you answer these two questions, you compare it with the straight line equation, equation of a straight line, and that is going to be y is equal to mx plus c. If you check what this very well, you realize that you need to reposition this equation to look exactly like this. What I mean is, since what v is for the vertical, I'm going to write it here. Since this x is horizontal, and this r is horizontal, so I'm putting them first. I'm going to have minus i r plus this is this on the c and e are the same thing. I'm putting this here. All right. Now that you have done this, the next thing you are going to do is the next thing I'm going to ask yourself is what does this x m represent? Because m and i are the same thing. m is equal to minus i. Hmm. Then Y means V. I means R. And C means E. Hmm. Knowing this, what does M mean? M represents what? Slope or gradient of any graph, of any equation. Then, but then, this I, this gradient is negative. So what kind of graph will give you a negative gradient how would the graph look like whenever we have a negative gradient that means the graph is going this way so whenever i do plot this equation whenever i do this experiment using this i'm going to have a graph will move in this direction you know some students may say some students always think that the equation will always go straight no from this analysis my graph is going this way now the question is what is this this place is what my E. That means the value of my battery can be gotten from the vertical intersection of the graph when I plot it. And that is why this E is coinciding with the vertical because this C has to be do with the vertical intersection of the graph. So I am done with this experiment. So whenever I'm going to do this experiment, I will do this analysis. When I'm, After doing the analysis, I know that Whenever my line cuts the y-axis, I'm going to cut that place, the value of my EMF. And then I also know that because this, um, the current, because the gradient is negative, I know that my graph is moving in this direction. It's not going this way. And the last thing I'm going to determine from my analysis is that the slope is going to be the current. Therefore, slope is going to be, my slope is going to be current. So the value of the current is going to be for the slope. And that is for this. Let's come back to this one. You are, you are asked to determine acceleration due to gravity. You know this 
determination, we always use this equation. Whereby T is the period, this is constant 2 pi, then L all over, acceleration due to gravity. You are looking for G, right? The next thing you should ask yourself is, what am I going to plot on the vertical? And what am I going to plot on the horizontal? If you can answer that question, you are cool. But if you look at this every time, it is shown that, I think, T square on the vertical versus L on the horizontal. So what am I going to do? I am going to find T square here. and make it the subject formula. So I'm going to square this side, square this. So I have that T square is equal to 4 pi square multiplied by L all over G. So I have that T square is equal to 4 pi square over G times L. So this is the equation of T square on the vertical and L on the horizontal. Now, what is going to be my vertical intersection? But because I do not have a vertical intersection here, it's going to be zero. Because I'm going to compare it with this equation plus C. Now, if you look at this equation, this is the x axis, which is this x. This is the y axis, which is this y. M is the, is the what? The coefficient of x is the slope. Therefore, the slope here is going to be m is the slope is going to be 4 pi square all over g. So when I'm, I'm doing um, acceleration due to gravity using this equation, my slope is going to be 4 pi square all over g. But that simply means to get my g, I can make g the subject formula. 4 pi square all over m. Whatever my slope is, if I divide it with 4 pi square, I'm going to have acceleration due to gravity. And the question, the next thing I'm going to ask myself is, how will my slope look like? It's going to be, uh, not my slope, how will my graph look like? The graph is going to pass through the center, the acceleration due to gravity. Why? Because where this graph cuts the y axis is at zero, because this is plus zero. Because this C is representing the zero. So I know it's whereby this is T square, X square, and this is L in meters or centimeter. And this is the slope, which is 4 pi square all over G. Okay, so um, these are how you can sit down at the comfort of your home analyze any physics equation or practical before you even go to the practical because that is going to give you a direction on how you can handle your practical ladies and gentlemen thank you for being part of this class remember the right thing to do always hit the subscribe button like this video share and comment thank you and return i'll be waiting for you keenly waiting for you for the physics practical because it's going to be bomb for the three practicals this channel is going to get your back for us to blast a as we did last year thank you Bravo.